Hello there everybody and welcome to my next video. As you can see, there's no video of me this time because this time around we're just going to be focusing on our web browser because I'm going to be going over some of my top gifts for Mac heads this Christmas. Actually, they're things that I kind of want, but they're perfect gifts for any Mac head. And uh, in case you're wondering, this episode or this video will also be maybe not for sure but i'm pretty sure i'm going to post it as episode 11 of my podcast i'm not real sure yet but i might go ahead and throw this up as episode 11 so people can download it and have the list that i you know show them here handy they don't have to have a computer handy to have it so let's go ahead and open up safari oh one more thing um the banner contest for my apple shake guru and apple soldier channel is over i'm done accepting entries i have declared winners and honorable mentions and runner-ups and all this good stuff and uh, you'll notice that the banners on my pages have changed and um, sometime next week i will have a video up um, explaining the winner and, and giving credit and all that good stuff and hopefully by then i can have everybody YouTube address in so I can put the ones that deserve it in the cool box and all that good stuff So look for that video around the end of next week So now let's go ahead and get started now that I got that out of the way Okay, the very first thing that I'm going to suggest is for the podcaster and all of us and everybody who owns a Mac has a little bitty podcaster inside of them and for $159, you can get this cool Samson Deluxe USB C010 podcasting kit. It's the same mic that I'm using, just about the same. It comes with the shock mount. It even comes with a large boom stand and a, um, what, what do you call it? A pop filter. That's the word I'm looking for. So for $159, you get some editing software. A pop filter, this great mic that you see me using, the shock mount, and a great boom stand. And this would make any Mac head or YouTuber tickled pink this Christmas. This I really recommend this for any podcaster out there, not necessarily Mac. Now the next one on the list is the biggest, and of course it is the PlayStation 3. Yes, 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 that is the system to have this Christmas for me, in my opinion. With an Xbox failure rate being at 56%, I'm not going to take my chances on getting one that's broken. Um, the PS3 has a Blu-ray player, which would be great for the living room. And I have a Wii, so the PS3 is at the top of the list of wonderful things to have this Christmas for any techie, not just a Mac head. And now you can get a 250 gig PlayStation 3 for 350 bucks. And, of course, along with it, Uncharted 2 which looks absolutely amazing. This is one of the games that would almost make me buy a PlayStation 3 just for this game. Um, I've heard really good things about it and for any techie video game lover this PS3 user this should be on their list. Uncharted 2. If any of y'all have it let me know what it's like. I've heard nothing but good things about it. As you can see it has 24 ratings and it's completely 5 stars. The reviews are great, so um, this is one of them, you know, buy a PlayStation 3 console to play the game type of deals. So, I haven't played it, but I've heard good things. Let me know what you think. And, of course, here we go. As a um, standard practice games, any Mac head will love a good game this Christmas. And, as you can see, they here at OWC, we have games like, these are older games, but, hey, this is Christmas and these are fun, and everybody loves to play them, so let's not put a damper on things. And let's get some games for our Mac heads for Christmas. As you can see, they have Bioshock, and there's a lot of good games here at OWC. You know, from Need for Speed to, you know, Lego games to Unreal Tournament and Quake and Call of Duties and, you know, Star Wars. So all goods, all kinds of great games that, like I said, any any Mac user or, or lover would, would enjoy having this Christmas. This next one, the Slim Key Stand. This would be great for any MacBook or iPod or an iPod or, or iMac owner or cinema display owner. It's a perfect little place, as you can see. It gives you a place to slide your keyboard here. It has a four-port USB hub on the side, and it's perfect for any size iMac or Apple display or LCD up to 35 pounds. Um, 
it, it, it makes a cooler MacBook or a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air, and it's powder coated in aluminum, and, and it matches your Mac perfectly. Um, I think this is a really, really, on the surface, you think $55? That's not worth $55, but you got to consider it. You're getting four USB 2.0 ports, and you're getting a place to stash your keyboard. This right here is a perfect gift I, for any, any Apple lover. Um, I'm going to ask my wife to get me one. If I could have one of these sitting on my desk, it would really, really help unclutter a lot. I could, I could, I could plug my accessories like my Wacom tablet into the side here, which would free up ports on my iMac or Mac Pro. It would uh, unclutter my desk because I could slide my keyboard underneath the iMac. It was just a great little system, and it's called the Slim Key Stand Version 2 with 4-port USB hub. Another great little gift that any Mac head would, would hug you for. Now this is a good little, um, a good little device. Now a lot of people's like, oh man, I got me a new Mac Pro, but I use dual displays, and none of my displays are the new Display Port, and there's only one DVI link or a DVI port on my graphics card for my 2009 Mac Pro. So if I want to use dual monitors. I'm going to have to find a monitor with that a display port or get me another graphics card. Well, not with this. For $70, you can get this little device here. As you can see, your DVI display plugs in right here. And on the other end is a USB cable coming out. So you plug one end to the USB of your machine. The other end, you plug in your DVI display. And boom, you automatically have a dual display. You don't have to have a display port or anything like that. As long as you have a USB hub, you can hook up a second DVI display. Um, just suppose, um, just suppose, like I said, I own a Mac Pro and I have two DVI displays. Okay, two DVI displays. Now the stock graphics card in a Mac Pro comes with one DVI port and one display port. Okay, so you can hook up one DVI port, one DVI display, and one display port display. If you have two DVI displays, you're out of luck unless you get a second graphics card. But with this little device, you just plug it into your USB port, plug your DVI display into it, and boom, you have a second connected display. Perfect for anybody for, for 70 bucks, you can have a dual monitor setup. If you have 70 bucks and a US free USB port, you can hook up a, a second DVI display. That's even for people that don't have a DVI, second DVI port like the new Mac Pros. Love, love, love this little device. Great little device. Now this is a good little thing for the Mac Mini owners. Just 30 bucks and it's just a new cube is what they call it from newer technology. And it's just a plastic case that you set your Mac Mini in. And let me tell you what, these things are really durable. I've seen them. Um, there's a uh, office around here that houses all their Mac Minis on them. They have one on each desk. And each one is housed in this. And even the ones in the back that they use for servers are housed in this. Just stacked side by side. So this is a great little gift for a Mac Mini owner. 30 bucks, slide your Mac Mini in there and keep it safe from pretty much anything you can imagine. Um, everybody needs a good set of speakers. So I found a really, really great set of speakers. Um, if I can find them here. Da -da 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 -da, where are they at? USB. Here they go. These Alysis M1 Active 320 USB speakers. Okay, these are $99. But um, they're really, really good good speakers so um, they're going to be a step above what you get in your average iMac or, or Mac Pro uh, it's really our studio first they're really made for small studios and they got built-in audio interface for recording and a solid construction you know of course they got a stylish design but the uh, main thing about it is it's a USB interface and as you can see the USB is right here and this is what makes it really, really Mac friendly, is it just being USB. Because when you have coaxial speakers, it's kind of a hassle to hook up. But when you can just boop, plug it into your USB port and you have studio quality sound, it really makes life a lot easier. So these speakers, 99 bucks. this is speakers, 320, M1 Active 320 USB speakers. 
they have several more speakers but these were USB speakers and I like the ease and use of a USB speaker these are not USBs okay so I like the USB that's why I recommended the USB these here are also really really great great speakers that I can't recommend enough it comes with a bass you know a subwoofer and, and two speakers for highs and mids and it's it, it's pretty much compatible with with anything it has a built-in amplifier and all that good stuff so if you can swing 140 bucks I recommend these but the uh, Alesis for hundred dollars may even give you better sound than these but these might go louder another um, product that should be on any Mac users or Mac heads list should be Alsoft's Disc Warrior for $99. Now sometimes you are going to have problems with your Mac and um, and sometimes you're not going to be able to find anything to fix it. You're going to try to get Disk Utility to rebuild your drive and it's not going to do it. You can, you can try to uh, reboot or, and sometimes you think well just you know my directory is corrupted and I'm going to have to reinstall and um, nine times out of ten before you reinstall if you run disk warrior it will fix any problem that you have as far as directory damage goes it's a utility program designed from the ground up with kind of a totally different approach to preventing directory damage and directory damage is the leading cause uh, of Mac instability so disk warrior resolves uh, the existing disk damage by rebuilding your disk directory using data recovered from the original directory thereby recovering files and folders that you thought were lost the directories disk warrior creates are also optimized for maximum directory performance and now it's not a disk repair program in the conventional sense that you're thinking it does not attempt to solve all the possible problems that can occur with a disk it specializes in eliminating directory errors and these are the most common and devastating problems that Mac OS 10 users have. So seriously, be a great gift for any Mac lover out there. Alsoft's Disk Warrior. Um, let's see here. This right here, I have this on my wish list. Going to be getting me one soon. The OWC Mercury Elite Aluminum Pro QX2, and it's an it, it's a professional solution for storage. It, it, it can hold up to four three and a half inch serial ATA drives and you can get two terabyte serial ATA drives so this will support up to eight terabytes of storage as you can see you can put eight terabytes of storage in this which is just as good as a rack solution okay so you can get an empty one for three hundred and twenty nine dollars and you can supply your own hard drives this is a must for anybody who's into big media and I would really 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 bow down to the person who bought me this thing for Christmas uh, for all you iPhone users out there the Revo from iSkin this has to be the absolute best case or skin for an iPhone um, out there now it's for the 3GS I'm pretty sure the 8 and 16 gig models and this is a really stylish really comfortable skin for your iPhone and any iPhone user would be tickled pink if it showed up under their Christmas tree that's from iSkin and it's called Revo um, iSkin also sells what they call the Pro Touch for your Mighty Mouse now if you're a Mighty Mouse user this can help really um, prolong the life of your Mighty Mouse I like the Mighty Mouse I enjoy it the ball messes up a, uh, more than it should and I have to clean it a lot but as long as I keep on top of it, it does. It, it's a nice mouse. And this right here, this little um, Pro Touch cover, really puts that little added flair onto it. And if you got a Mac lover that that you're friends with or something, this might be a cheap little solution to get him something for Christmas. Now this isn't something cheap for if you have a Mac Mini friend or a Mac Mini relative that you just want to. You know, get them a little something for Christmas. This is 17 bucks, and it's just a little stand that you mount under your desk, and you slide your Mac Mini in. You can see it just slides right in there. Really convenient. Gets the Mac Mini out of the way off the desk, and it's just 17 bucks. Be great for the Mac lover in the house, or or anybody for that matter. And the last product on my list is the AKG K99 Professional Headphones. These are really, really, really great headphones for the money. 
And not only do you have to be a Mac, you, you don't you don't have to be a Mac user to enjoy these. Any techie or or music lover will enjoy these. These are really great low to mid level headphones that um, really can't be beat. I love AKG. I think they make great great phones, and I can't recommend them enough. So there is a list of about sixteen things that I recommend people. The last thing that I recommend. Um, that's not got on here is the Amazon Kindle. It's a really great, and it would be great for any any book lover in the family. It's it, a lot of you guys might not understand what's so great about it because you're younger and you might not be into reading. But it's a really great device that any, I think any reader or techie would be would love to have. So don't get me wrong. There's several several more things that I can recommend for the techie or Mac head for Christmas. And if you all like this video, I can make another video or two more videos if that matter of, of some more lists for for Christmas if you want me to make another list for of things for more Mac lovers that's fine or I can make a list of things for just tech lovers or or whatever you whatever you like it's the Christmas season I'm in the given spirit I can even make a list for PC users but I don't think it would be too too um, too great to follow because I'm not sure how good I would do with that so uh, I'm going to do another video like this, kind of put out a couple more podcasts before Christmas. I'm in the Christmas spirit, so we're going to try to have a little, couple more little Christmassy videos on the way. And um, I hope you all have happy holidays, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, and if you're listening to this via the podcast, thanks for listening. OS 10.